it's June 19th. It's beginning the summer solstice. Uh, so if you get a geocache June 19th, 20th, and 21st, you get a summer solstice souvenir from geocaching.com. So we're off to find a geocache after supper. Boy, it's hot. My phone says it's 33 degrees Celsius. So double that, 3366 out of 32 is 97, <laughs> roughly. Uh, and then the humidex on top of that puts it up in the 40s. Um, it's darn hot. But we have to get a cash. and a cache we will find. So a couple outside the town that I haven't picked up yet. Uh, got a couple marked off uh, just in case we can't find the first one. So down the road we go. I just put the phone down in time because the police officer just drove by me and I was speeding. But he was speeding in the opposite direction. So fair is fair, I guess. <laughs> Didn't get a ticket. Well, I'm pretty sure the cache is probably in this tree, but there's all of this to go through. No trail. And Brett's wearing shorts. So maybe we'll go to the next one. Okay, second location. Not much better than the first location. At least I can see the ground. <laughs> checking out these leaves to make sure that I don't see poison ivy mixed in here. And I'm not seeing any leaves in three. So let's see. Yeah, it's flagged as a simple micro on a country road. Well, that's probably when the bushes aren't so high. Too much vegetation, so another DNF. Well, third one takes me to cedar trees. My favorite. Still gotta go through. A horrible time to go geocaching. But I may see something in there. There's a whole bunch of can bottles and cans in there. Okay, dove in. And I think I see it over there. Do you see it? Now just to get through these bushes to get there. Alright, must be Canadian, eh? It's a hockey puck with a ding in it. Alright, cash found. So that gives me the summer solstice souvenir. Alright, yeah, someplace. And now I just gotta check myself for ticks and go home and have a shower. A little bit of work and sweating. So cash later, cash on trails.